but uh, the only way I could become a champion at 135 is fighting uh, Devin. But again, I don't really care about the bouts. I don't. I'm going to be honest with you. I care about who I beat and how I feel in my heart and what that victory does for me. Beating Javante Davis would bring me influence and power over the whole boxing community. What matters is if you put people on the, in those seats and if you're exciting and people want to watch you, that's it. The people decide who's the top dog and that's it. Nobody cares about bouts anymore. Anybody could get a bout. Anybody could get a bout. Bout. A vacant title against Matthew Haddon. You heard it from the horse's mouth. King Ryan says nobody cares about belts anymore. All that matters is if you can fill the stadium up, which he can. Him and Tank Davis will be a big fight with no titles. And both of them have big followings. Garcia made $2 million fighting Javier Fortuna. Who does that? Now I'm old school. Belts mean something to me. Guys winning belts in different divisions means something to me. Guys cleaning out divisions becoming undisputed champions. That means something to me. Legendary, all-time great status. But like I said, I'm an old school cat. You new booties out there. Does titles mean anything to you? I know some all-time greats and some guys who are going to be future all-time greats and legends disagree with Ryan. Terrence Crawford is trying to become undisputed in his second weight class. So is Canelo. And Devin Haney is already undisputed at 135. And we can't forget about Jermel Charlo, who just became undisputed at 154. And what about Naya Inoue? See, the list goes on. But I do agree with one thing Ryan Garcia said. Everybody has a belt, and that's the problem. It's too many belts in boxing now. And it's two things wrong with that. One problem, it decreases the value of the real champion belt. And it also confuses casual boxing fans because they don't watch boxing like us, they watch the big fights. When they see a guy up there, the WBA regular champion, they just think he's a champion of the WBA. When Canelo told Ryan Garcia he has accomplished nothing, Ryan Garcia claps back and says he beat Matthew Hatton for a vacant title. It had no substance to it, and he compared it to wearing a fake gold chain. It's not really gold. Meaning, your Matthew Hatton win doesn't even measure up to the win I get if I beat Javante Davis. And he has a Mickey Mouse belt. It makes me wonder though, what does Ryan Garcia really feel about Canelo's run at Undisputed at 168? Since they're on bad terms, the Ryan Garcia feels that Canelo took the cherry pick way to become undisputed. Like I said, I'm old school, so I'm on the legend side, the Canelos, the Terrence Crawford, I'm on their side. I like when guys go to different divisions and accomplish title wins, undisputed, all that stuff. But do you agree with Ryan? Do you agree with Ryan that titles don't mean anything anymore? Do you agree with Ryan that him being Javante Davis will put him up top of boxing without a title? And that probably would put him on the pound for pound list without a title. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Jay Beasy, I'm gone.